Here we go. Let's check on the family. Alright, what's cooking? Way out to Europe. I call up Niger, he'll come through in a hurry. Those London boys don't come to play, you should get worried. One false move, find yourself they getting buried. Dance with the devil, used to love playing those games. Made some bad decisions that brought my mama pain. I made a promise to her, swear that I would change. I'm on the come up, bet I live up to my name. I wake up, flex on Control center. Look at that. View. It is so cool. Not running this lap. We won't go tonight. Save some words. Put parts together. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 You guys came out of the blocks and looked like you nailed it right off the bat. Jimbo has done a lot of study and it, it was prepared when we got here and he was very confident and told us. We are going to go out here and run good. I'm just not going to play around anymore. We got to get after it when we go to the mountain. And yeah, they look pretty good right off the trailer. All righty, we're just about ready to fire up our first nitro car of the day. Hey, Beer, I got one question for you. Are you ready for some nitro? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Let's get it going. A little tap fuel tractor. 95 degrees, 95 degrees is the track temperature on the starting line. That is down considerably from when we started Pro Stock. It's because a cloud drifted over in front of that big orange ball out there. It's 110 degrees as Austin Proc is not coming back. I'm going to assume that he had no neutral, couldn't get it in reverse, and that happens from time to time. Who said we needed rain? I bet Austin wished you would have happened a couple minutes earlier. Well, that was a very, very brief spritz. Dear God, that's plenty to keep the grass green for the rest of the day. Take the day off. It's going to be Antron Brown. Rolling up next for Matco Tool. Driven, Sirius XM. Thanks to first lubricant. 17 cars on the property. Antron is the one car that is not yet qualified. Struggled yesterday. Had problems on both runs, obviously. Terry Cotton. Here on the right side, Terry Dodson out of Cigar and Joey Austin in the final round here a year ago. He is sitting in precarious number 50. Clay, you've been doing this a long time, you've driven for a lot of different teams. You've watched Antron go through his career, and it's pretty similar to what yours is. And then he got an opportunity to take that big leap. Is that something you've never thought of, dreamed of, would be interested in doing? Definitely not. i got to be honest with you. you know, I, I love nothing more than uh, driving these race cars, but I've never even had calls of the ownership side of it. There is so much that goes into it, and, man, I just prefer to, to focus on driving these things. And, that's what I like doing, and I'm so proud of Antron for what he's done and taking that leap. It's a big leap. No question about it. He started his own team. was actually supposed to do it a year sooner. COVID, as with so many other things in life, pushed it back. The Mapco car needs to run better than 4.46. Terry Totten just went in and double balled. I doubt that he meant to do that. I also doubt that it was going to bother Antron at all. 406, 302 miles an hour. And if not often, you'll see the Matco guys happy about that. I don't think they'll be happy about that, particularly this time either. But they did what they had to do. We have to go down the racetrack and put ourselves in the field. Antron currently in the number 13 spot. Terry Totten, 414. Slight improvement. He is now going to be in the number 14 spot. That puts Brittany on the bump. And that just bumped Rob Passy right on out of here. Well, you mentioned shallow stage. You and I have done nitro school a number of times. One of the things we talk about, how the car is parked on the starting line has a big effect on the number that's on the scoreboard. Whether you get it as shallow as possible, I think Steve Torrance is probably leader in the clubhouse now for playing in that bottom bolt. 
But if you roll forward two or three extra inches, that's going to cost you two or three extra hundreds on the scoreboard. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we kind of consider it, you know, in the bracket racing world, about a hundredth per inch is what it mm -hmm. is. And, and me and you have done the schools, and it's, it's amazing to, to think about an inch costs you a hundredth on the scoreboard. But on the flip side of that, it makes the driver look better because he gained a hundredth in reaction time. Enterprise is a Salt Lake City based team. Looking to run better than 4.19 and try to fight his way back into the field. If he does, he would bump out here. Brittany Ford. As Brittany sits on the bump spot right now, that is her 4.19 second run. If he wants to be safe, what a way to watch the event. I per That'll get the Phillips Connect people happy. 4.40, 4.406. Rob Passy misses. They will have one more opportunity later on today. Antron just moved himself up to the number six position. Clay Milliken hanging out with us up in the tower. You want to get to know him a little better? Check out the Sonoka vision. Go with 9143. Go. Anyway, we lost Come Brittany. Who currently sits on the bump spot. The flavor pack, Monster Energy, Cornwell Tools Machine, and here comes Doug Coletta. I, I don't even want to know what the overdrive is on that thing. I can hear the boost from here. That, that thing is hot. Oh. I tell you what, I don't think that uh, Brittany will stay on that bump spot after this run. This cloud cover is ideal. And I'm with you. When Doug Coletta's car started up, you know, it was like, oh yeah, that baby is, is tuned up and ready to go. It is out shining tomorrow. I really Prestige. believe Mitch Creators will win this race. And he wanted the sun on the racetrack because he wanted to find that baseline. One, 325 miles an hour. Brittany Force goes quicker than everybody not named Leah. And Doug Coletta goes 3.943 at 312 miles an hour. So Doug and the Mac Tools team stays consistent. Brittany steps up big. Let's go to Jason. Looking at the numbers on Brittany's run right there, they had a little early. Definitely, things started motivating from that 60. 60 foot mark to the 330 and all the way to the 325 mile an hour. Definitely a late cylinder down through there. But Really soft early, 867, 60 foot, and they just did what they needed to do. And no surprise to be at all, that thing just went 81 out there. Out here with Tony, they got a whole bunch of VIPs out here spending the weekend as well. And Mike Salinas' machine, have you been by his place? I have not. Oh man. He's shutting off early is Mike Salinas. Look at the speed down there, only 296 miles an hour. Tony Schumacher goes 388 at 302 miles an hour. I don't think that thing was quite running happy all the way to the stripe either. But Mike Salinas, that Pep Boys machine, good solid run out there. And you can't help but wonder, had it made it to the stripe, not sure there was another 500s out there, but there might have been another one or two. If I had to bet it pitched the belt off, I mean, we run the supercharger so fast up here. And there's nothing wrong with the bore belts, but when you're running the supercharger fast as we are, sometimes it's just like I've had enough. Let's see if we can take another look on the NHRA replay and find that out. Oh, I'm sorry, the big screen had to go put down because there was lightning in the area, but I thought we still might be able to see it up here. Anyway, we got uh, another couple of them ready to come at you. What's he saying? Like most of the crew chiefs have the trait. They never get real high, they never 
you will know, you understand how difficult this stuff is to do. You understand that you're not going to win every week. You, know, you go out there and you set the national record, and it's like, yeah, okay, that was all right. You go out there and you smoke the tires, and you can't get down on yourself either. You just got to keep thinking about the next run. Over on the DHL side of the racetrack, he's the one that makes the final call on the yellow car for Conrad and Company. Three point nine oh four. Look at the difference in speed. Three thirteen for Sean. Three point nine oh eight. Two hundred and eighty one miles an hour for Josh Hart. Now Josh certainly had some happy pipes down there, but he shut off what? Damn, 150 feet, 200 feet before the finish line and gave up 30 plus miles an hour. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, there's some ET there, but not nearly as much as you may think. But we kind of look at that as like 10 mile an hour, 100. So that's, you know, yep. a few hundreds there. That's a hazard. This was cool. <laughs> So I know it's true. Need any quick stuff down the road? Let me know. Maybe you have. Yeah. 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 My good buddy from Houston. It's awesome. We have got some rain. Alright, here we go. So simultaneously up there, lightning came. Yeah. Someone from Fox got hurt and had to be rushed to the hospital by one of the Fox workers. And there was a fire under the I grandstands. Saw grabbing fire extinguishers. That was crazy. crazy. That sign right there. Yes, sir. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Sports your local track, right? Exactly. New Bay Motors. There's a lot of craziness. I'll drop you guys off in the back here. Perfect. And then I will swing around the front. That was awesome. Yeah. That was so cool. Yeah. You did so good too. That's my retirement plan. <laughs> You're pretty good at it. I like to do some of that too, so I think it was pretty cool. Come on up. Jimmo. Brent. Hi, we haven't met. Hey, how you doing, man? Jimmo Bradford. So what's the plan this weekend? Just keep it turned up? Yeah, that's all you can do here. <laughs> yeah. Turn the wick up hard. You need the engine to stay up. So like what, you know, like looking last night is like, all right, I unlocked a lever, but it didn't do any good. You know, I just gotta figure out how to get like the, keep the engine up so like the clutch isn't pulling on it so hard. Cause yeah. you know, like one of the things that we're dealing with right now is we have all these new clutch discs and they could be, a little bit more aggressive and if they are aggressive out there then that's going to pull on the engine as right, well so the down. plate load's plate load it's going to get it whether it's from the disc um, or, the, or the weight we put on it so this thing what i've seen in the past is it doesn't need the lockup weight on it to run fast it's like you got to even though it's hard to make power here you, you still got to try to figure out how to make power Right. right spots but initially you can't make like we're kind of stuck so it's like just put some primary on it get it out there and then, and then be a little bit softer on the on the lockup weight you know so you're not like pulling on it so you know so so hard at least it all sounds good yeah <laughs> it does sound good it's good to see you brother you out here doing heads now huh Yes, sir. Know you. How are you, sir? Flying through it. I love it. How's it been going? Actually, really good. Yeah? Yeah, I, I like it a lot more than doing racks. It's a little yeah. more involved. And yeah. There's a lot more parts and pieces, a little more to it. So, like Anything you see wear a bunch of that you're always kind of eyeballing? Well, actually, this is the head that we ran in. Uh, Q1. Yeah, 
So we're taking it apart. Doubling down just in case. And you can see here. Oh yeah. Where it wanted to push the gasket. It wanted to do oh, it on yeah. one and seven. So it was it was right there on the edge where it wanted to push it. And since we got marks on the outside of the firing, we gotta send it back. They'll weld it up a little bit, resurface it. That is good to find for sure. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Thanks, man. This is awesome. All right, let's go find Jamie and everybody. Look at Doug over here. Drivers must post one of the top six. Not only the team owner, but he's the team cook. Look at this guy. Hey, hey. Good to see you. Those look delicious. He just let my knuckles grow back hair. He just let my knuckles grow back the hair I lost yesterday. Are not factored yeah, into the cool equation during qualifying. Drivers will use these sessions to sharpen their. That's awesome. episode I got here and we just went straight to business which was actually kind of fun but uh, Clay set out that round because they they were in the process of putting together some engines so they got those together looks like this one is just about finished up and uh, they're gonna be starting that shortly and that's always a good time uh, but in the meantime Doug has made the steaks and I'm gonna feast down on that and uh, take a little breather sounds like the boys are on their way up here so we'll see them soon Fine. Well, Jim, what do you think? I'm loving it. That's sick. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No brakes, sweet, go, 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 go. Shade, that's a no, 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 no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a six, four, four. Cash money like five, or four. Ball like AD, two, four. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I'm a real one, my day one. Well, it was really loud earlier, but it's good to see you, Heidi. Hi. <laughs> so you're out here shooting with Hot Rod Magazine. That's just awesome. Everybody jump in the comments and say how proud of your, we all are, because it's so cool to watch you grow. It's awesome. Baby wants to hold me. I love my fans, don't need no friends. I got my homies. I thought I could trust you, I find out you tried to zone me I'm number oh, one, I'm on yeah. the court, I'm Nick McGrady Hey, 
Yeah. I'm getting my son Steven down here on the line. on the line. Was, <laughs> Intense. It's different. It's different. It's much different than anything else. You feel it in your soul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice job. Definitely seems like you get hit in the head. <laughs> yeah, it feels like you got hit in the head. Yeah. Okay. All right, here's our slick. 0.85960 foot. Crazy. 21330. Leo with the 284. That hot rod was booking it, and they are just ripping this. We've only been back here for a couple minutes, and it is fully toward. Look, they just got the back jacked up, but they already got the supercharger off, and they are getting these heads off fast. Kaylin is ripping. Entire team. The tree was nice, nice and easy. We got the ring up one in. Yeah, I mean it wasn't, right. it wasn't where I wanted it to be, obviously, but uh, I suppose you want another one in the fifties. Well, I mean, uh, as long as I beat the guy beside me, that's the goal. Did you? Yeah. I didn't. I don't love anybody else for years. Yeah. Oh, I don't think the counter worked, Jimbo. Motor took a day off too. Right there's a thousand thirty-three heads. Just <laughs> uh, He says he's gonna strip the floor. Yeah, he needs to. It's, oh, it's good. Now. Got it. And how do you know the blower's gone? Well, the boost is down. So, you know, that had a half second. First run to our run we just made, it's down over a pound, a pound and a quarter. Oh, yeah. Which is something. Yeah, I mean, it's just six grams of primer, you don't do that. That's just, it ain't got no. It ain't got no balls. <clears throat> yeah, we can't put compression in it. We're tapped <laughs> out there. Yeah. Nothing. 
Engine RPM drive shaft G meter. That's yeah. what I like. Yeah. Cause that's I like the G meter too, yeah, especially like, in your car. Yeah, I like the G meter. That's a cool. lot. A lot. Throughout out there, like even on that run, it's pulling the front end up a little bit. Yep. I can see right there where you'd be comfortable. But yeah, you can see out in the middle, like it's pulling the front end up, or either that or it's just, you know, where it's bumpy and it's like bouncing it, bouncing it a little bit. Yeah, four fun put up Bristol last year. Since we got front wheels up. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's an no oh shit moment for yeah. the guys over here. Yeah. That racetrack is it had the tunnel, it has a tunnel. And the tunnel had sunk, so the car would go in and when it come out, it was in a ramp. It's a jump ramp. And uh, yeah, a little scary actually. Yeah. You know, the clutch is coming in, it's starting to really lock up and how far out on the track would you probably do? Well, that spot there is like 150 feet. And then out here, like where it finally comes down, it's like about almost 400 feet. Yeah, so you're going really fast. Yeah. Really fast. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, by that point, first pulls the front end up. It's going 125 miles an hour, sets it down. It's going like 180 miles an hour. It sets it down now. Now it's going 240. Well, like yeah, I mean, yeah. And, and we're already, you know, down. You're from already sea down 200. Right. So yeah. then you have another. You're down yeah. four on it. Yeah. Which then again is plate load. So if we put primary on it to try to like get it to move better because we thought the track was good. Well, really, all we did is we put primary on it and it kept it the same as really last night because the blower like the rpm was down and it just didn't get going because when we rolled up there my goal was i wanted to go like 845 60 foot but we went 859 and it's all because right here and it just did it, it was just lazy just didn't get going once it got going out there it ran okay yeah you know like you know so there's some positives out of this run we had a um a better eighth mile speed uh, we had yesterday we went 282 and 281 and that run we just made we went 284 so we went a step in a direction and then it also went 320 and it was on eight cylinders yeah, you know that's, which, awesome. that's tough to do up here yeah you know, like make it run on eight but. Dun, dun, dun. And there he is, back on the head. Back on the head. Or force you to use your rewards before reaching some arbitrary expiration date. But discover is a no bet. With discover. Figure out what lane you want. I don't know what he's going. If I had to guess, he's going to pick left lane because the right lane's got a few bumps. All right, we are out here, and then it is eliminations day. Either we make a lap or we're out. That's it. One or the other. He needs to knock him down on the train and run an 81 again. That's it. That's all he's got to do. Do not put a time to survive Lovers Day, we love seeing your face. Hey, how's it going? Pretty great. How about you? Good. Good to see you. <laughs>
<laughs> see that little like paraglider right there? No. <laughs> you see it now? That they just went past? No. You see it? I can't see that part. <laughs>
Milliken. I love, Hell I love yeah. Shit too. <laughs> you don't Let's think go, about baby. anything else. It's like flying an airplane. You don't think about nothing. That's it. Love it. Oh, baby, go. Grab that camera off the thing and it's yours. <laughs>
Love you, buddy. You're the best. Love you, buddy. Truly awesome. Yeah. Always the best experience out here. My well, nationals with the with the race crew. Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same. Who am I to blame? Money made me change. Cardi in my rain when I'm switching lanes. Money in the carry on them boy planes. Money in the carry on them boy planes. Now I got a buck for all those rainy days. Ain't have a day off in like 80 days. I got hustles in like